Hello everybody, Toastbomb here today. We are going to be talking about using your scoreboard. Now this is awesome. It can, it can help you so much, and not only just you, but also your team. It can help a whole lot, and it's really, really crucial and important. Now, first of all, let's take a look at what the scoreboard actually does. What does it actually do? Well, you hold back, and it presents you with a list of all the players in the game. Sometimes some of the players will kind of be grayed out, maybe have like an X next to them, and that means they are dead. Now, this is huge. This is what makes the scoreboard so awesome. It tells you who is dead in the game at that time. So you can use this information, and it'll help you to better time your pushes. It'll help you to know when to back down when you shouldn't take a fight. It can help you and your team so much. Now, when it comes to looking at the scoreboard, there are a bunch of different patterns that are really important that will instantly tell you if this is a good idea, a bad idea, and will instantly communicate to the team what is happening and what the current situation is. So the very first, very basic one, is we got numbers. Or, on the inverse of that, we don't got numbers. So that will tell everybody, okay, there's more of us and less of them right now, so we should push. Or there's less of us and more of them right now, so we shouldn't push. So again, we got numbers or we don't got numbers. That is a very important one and can be very useful for pushing. Now another one that you've probably heard before is all four down, and that means that everybody on the enemy team is in respawn. So commonly, what that equates to is the team pushing in, pulling the flag, or doing some sort of objective work in the enemy's base while everyone's dead because they're all dead, so, you know, you're kind of free to do anything during that time. But then that also allows the team to know that, oh, a bunch of people are going to be respawning pretty much all near the same time, and they're going to have to be watching out for that. So that's, again, another bit of important information that comes out of telling your team that all four members of the enemy team are dead. Another one that is really useful is to say 3v3 right now. So if you see that one person on your team's dead, one person on the other team is dead, and you call out 3v3, that lets everybody know that you're not up numbers, they're not up numbers, it's all equal, and they know what they need to do and how they need to push. They can more intelligently make decisions based upon that. Also, very similarly, you can shout out uh, 2v2, so again, they know that they're equal numbers, or even 1v1. And then going off of all four down, you can say, you know, three down, two down, one down. Just trying to always keep your team updated with the current amount of players on the other team. And then the very last one that is really important is saying your last man. So if you're in respawn and you check the back button and you see that teammate is the only one alive, you say your last man. And that is a really, really great and important call out that can give that guy a lot of knowledge about what the current situation is because he knows he probably shouldn't push because the other team has three, four people. You know, it's almost always a bad idea for him to just go and run at the other team and die because no one else is going to be there to back him up. So he's probably going to need to hide and stay alive to wait for his teammates to respawn. So that is a really, really important one. Saying your last man to that person helps a lot. So when you should look at the scoreboard and how you should look at it. Now unfortunately in Halo 4 I hope this changes, but at the current time, when you hold the back button, you cannot continue to move forward. It will not accept any other player inputs to go through the game while you're holding the back button. So this kind of sucks because in the previous Halo games, you could do that. You could continue to move forward and walk around and look at the scoreboard. But now, if you want to be able to move forward at the same time as looking at it, you're going to have to sprint and jump or just jump so while you're in the air, your momentum will continue while you're looking at the scoreboard and you don't require any player input at that point anyways, so it's all good and gravy. So that's one way you can kind of fudge around that problem, but it still is kind of unfortunate. So... Now, when you should be looking at it, you should be trying to look at it pretty constantly. Now, you're not going to see me ever looking at it in gameplays, probably, most likely, because I record these in the theater. 
and it doesn't save those inputs. The same as, like, when I die, I'm usually switching between players, looking around the map, getting all this information. You're not going to be seeing me do that in gameplays, because it's recorded in the theater afterward. It's not recorded live. So, you know, I'm constantly checking the leaderboard, but you're not going to see me in the gameplays doing it. Anyways, you should be looking at it fairly constantly. If there's some downtime, you can quickly check it there. If you're in respawn, you should definitely check it and let your teammates know if any of these patterns show up, what the current situation is, if it's good to push, if it's not good to push, you got numbers or not. That is a really, really great way of doing it because there's no risk there. You're dead in respawn. So that is a great time to check it. But just any time that it's, you know, seems appropriate. Uh, if a bunch of people call it, that they've killed people that is a good kind of warning sign to be like oh i should check the leaderboard because that means that probably a lot of people are going to be dead and then you can check it there and say oh they got three down or all four down and you can push into the base and cap the flag whatever so that's when you should be checking it try to remind yourself constantly to check it because it might not be something that you've used before in your game so you might not be used to uh like knowing that you can do that so just kind of try to keep it at the front of your mind while you're playing and check it constantly maybe just like go all out crazy like check it like every 10 seconds for a game or something just to kind of pound it into your mind that this is a thing that you can use because you might forget about it sometimes so anyways that'll be it for this video if you liked it you can leave a like or a comment or you could subscribe because i post new halo videos every day anyways thank you for watching see you tomorrow bye